And a three, and a two, and a one, and... Expect mispronunciations, biased conjecture, and unsubstantiated facts. This is Mediacore Opinions, Anime Edition. Ahoy hoy and welcome back. So this is Mediacore Opinions, and today we're going to be talking about a just a whole scattershot of anime that I've been watching at the moment. And it's just going to be some random things off the top of my head, and we're just going to chat about it and then i'll talk further in the comments below if you want to chat so first off what i'm watching at the moment um this is all going to be generally sent around the uk uh, crunchyroll because i have the queue right up there and uh you know it's going to be easier to pinpoint what i'm actually watching at the moment so we are in summer 2018 anime and i gotta say that summer 2018 is absolutely full of fan service and and i'm talking about uh the the t and a and as the as the young kids would have said about 10 years ago <laughs> um everything that's been new out that i have been watching has some form of this that has really been off-putting for me it's just not something that i'm into um when i'm watching a show like let's take something like game of thrones for example there is there's nude scenes in that and it doesn't seem to be as distracting I wonder you know what I think it's probably not as distracting because it fits with what's going on you know it's a medieval time and they don't generally use it for shock value to well it's never shocked me anyway it always seemed to be like this is you know so what's happening yep they're in a the bath someone got up you see a nurse <laughs> um but with this with this season it just seems to be everywhere I, I guess it's just a bunch of whole load of episodes that i watched that have it front and center or maybe too many shots when it's absolutely unnecessary right let's let's compare two that i was actually excited about so there is uh i'm gonna get these names wrong uh Hanabeo, which is the badminton anime, and there's the Hanukkah Receive. Let's read. Let's actually read it off. Yeah, get glasses back on, Moltau. And the other one is Harukana Receive. So, and this was volleyball. So the reason why I was very excited about these is because. They're two of the sports that I actually really like to watch on occasion. So if there's sports on the TV or on, like, I'm at a bar and there's sports on, if there's tennis or badminton or volleyball, I am 100% on that. I, I I don't know what it is. I think it might be the quick-paced nature and the... I feel like there's a lot, a lot of, uh, like... Tactics plus quick, uh, quick reflexes like merged into one that you can see like sort of go off very quickly, and you know you can also see sometimes where people have messed up or people have been played, you know, because you're getting that overhead view, so you're getting a completely different angle to what the actual players are getting, and yeah, so these are the ones I would generally prefer to watch if they were on TV. But I don't go out of my way to sort of source them uh, from day to day because I actually have no idea what the, what they're on. Um, uh, Freeview, the Freeview, the, like basically the channels that I get um, uh, just seems to be scattershot. And of course, uh, most of them mainly focus on football because it seems to be the most popular. Or at the very least, brings in the most money, which I would assume those probably correlate quite significantly to the point where it might be... Uh, might be more data behind saying it's uh, causation rather than correlation but so getting way off topic so <laughs> bringing it back to summer 2018 anime um, so we have these two these two here and I really enjoyed Hayaku I'm going to say that weirdly as well um, and that was volleyball and I absolutely adored it I think I've watched the, the whole thing maybe two three times over at least and it was brilliant, I loved it, and I was hoping that both of these would follow along the same lines. So, to compare these both of these, Hanukkah Receive is 
completely in your face about these girls who I can only assume I should I should actually have uh, popped this up but judging by what they I think they said they're in middle in year two of uh, school which I think in that section of the school will last for three years so like just before university um, so working backwards I think they're about 16 maybe they most of them are drawn uh, in the later ep- uh, like I'm up to episode 7 because I'm just trying to see what, what it's actually going to do because the characters are generally very fun and the storyline yeah, pretty good the volleyball action is alright it's suffering a little bit of the Yuri on Ice sort of like background not matching what's happening with the characters but not as much um, like really not, not to the same degree at all and yeah like like those aspects are pretty good and that's the only re- that's i would guess is probably the only reason why i'm still watching because like there are sweet moments and funny moments there's some good good stuff like that but it's the constant full-on shots of butt and full-on shots of titties that it just i don't like it like these there's, there's multi, I guess there's multiple le- levels to this for me. Like, I haven't really worked on my own, own opinions, but it's just something that takes me out of it. They are not... They're not of the age for a start. You know, these these kids are, like, half my age. I don't want to be seeing that. You know... Uh, yeah, it's literally just T and A in your face every now and then. Like, completely inappropriate. Like, I, you know, they are... They're doing beach volleyball. They're wearing beach volleyball outfits. I didn't really think that would be that would be such an issue, but it is just, you know, I, I would say, uh, dead or alive, you know, uh, boob physics, and hyper focused on on those bits. Just every now and then, it just seems to me like they're out, they're playing, you know, they're having a good match. And then it's like, in the middle of it, it's just like, one of them, like, is going to, like, signal to the other. And then it'll be a big focus on their ass. Or they'll get diverted and they'll start talking about how the suits are all getting all, you know, you need to get it tighter here or something like that. Like, some of them have been really funny jokes. And then some of them have been completely just used to get a good close-up of it. And it's just like... Felix like a mixed bag and I I stopped watching it for like I stopped watching it after episode three stopped for a while and then I watched four episodes in a row because yeah I was thinking about it and I was thinking about talking about it here and yeah just really puts it in your face and it is not it's not what I want at all now on the flip side now remember this is uh TNA Summer uh, 2018, so you know, uh, still got it as well. So, Hanabeo, the the badminton anime, looked amazing. I don't normally watch the like the intros to shows, and I actually saw this early. So I saw the trailer. I don't know why it just came up. I think maybe in my Twitter feed or something, and it auto played, and it just caught me with its fantastic visual style and the editing done in that intro i love it i don't i don't i don't even know if i like the song like i haven't listened to the song without watching the video as well just that the the style and the tempo of the way they slow down and speed up oh it is fantastic if you don't want to watch the show and you have any interest in animation at all please take a look at it and give me your opinion because it just I don't. It is a good intro, and it's actually a type of intro that I would want to watch as well because it doesn't give away anything. You know, like you're going to get some character outlines, some character faces, but aside from that, it you know, it's not. It's not like, for example, My Hero Academia, where you see a new character that you've never seen before in a particular costume, and they might be doing something, might not, but you can infer quite a bit, like in the previous arc when they were training at a camp. And you saw, uh, minor spoilers here, you saw a big guy and 
very man inspired. He was rippling with muscles and he was bigger than usual. And you go, well, I think I know what his power is. He, you know, he's going to be able to get super strong and be able to do X, Y, or Z with uh, said strength. And it comes from somewhere. So, no, <laughs> very minor spoilers. Was trying to avoid trying to get into it, but um, like you can infer a lot, and then then when you see see what's going to happen during the episodes, and you're like, yeah, they're just going to show up, and then they're going to have a showdown with probably X or probably Y, yada yada yada. This I didn't get that impression at all with the intro. Like, it just it was very distracting in the sense of the way the tempo and the animation matched perfectly with the tempo of the music and the way you know slow down speed up and all that sort of camera it was just oh great then there was one small thing in it where someone's doing a diving leap sort of thing like a like a like a last dished effort to actually get the shuttlecock and it's like viewed from behind and it's like was that a panty shot? Was it a girl in shorts? Not really trying to pay attention too much. Let's forget about it. And then this show is much more serious. Uh, has a lot of emotions in it and a lot of character interactions in the sense of like much like much more grounded in reality instead of like bubbly cartoon as. Uh, uh, volleyball one was uh, Haruka receive. Uh, I'm gonna say that wrong every. T- it's gonna be different every time I say it as well. Uh, I just say the volleyball one, and it's much more grounded and all that sort of humor. But we still got shots of TNA of these really young girls. Again, I would assume from this like this is the other thing which is the problem which is some of them are drawn like adults and then some of them are drawn like small adults and then some of them are drawn like children and then some of them are drawn even like I don't know baby face or something um, in this show like they're more most of them are drawn more like adults like uh, short adults um, but it still doesn't fit you've got the you got them in school you got them doing the stuff I don't want to see that and it still comes up in this which is meant to be much more serious and it's like i guess maybe they were looking at the rest of the roster going well everyone else is tna we're gonna fit some in somewhere but it just seems to spoil what i you know like if if that's what they want to do that's their that's your thing sure i i guess you know that i guess the thing with uh Harukana receives is the volleyball one is that they are wearing it on their sleeve and they sort of are presenting it as this is what we're doing. I guess that's just not what I wanted. But Hanabeo, the badminton one, I didn't feel like it was wearing that sort of thing on its sleeve. And I felt even more disappointed with that one after watching a couple of episodes. And also that one, it took me maybe, I got, was watching it week by week to maybe episode six or seven. And then I just completely grinded to a halt where I didn't want to watch it for a while. It was sort of just off putting. But in saying that, that was also because they are really good at making you hate characters and hate certain aspects of characters. Like if this is intentional. Like this is this is what they want to do, and they're really good at it. Like a, like I had a mix of the ill feelings that I have for the the TNA situation with two young girls, you know, like the the young. Uh, it's it's only the girls as well. There's boys in this, and they don't do the same with that. You know, there's no titillation over them. And I like, I guess you know, like. I don't know what I'm asking for there. I don't want an even playing field. I want uh, I want an even playing field. Oh, everyone move up rather than, you know, the boys being pulled down. Just push everyone up to the level. Like like Hayaku, though, I didn't feel like there was anything like that. Enough. Like there was locker room stuff. And it, that's, that's the thing. There was locker room stuff in this. And I was like, you can have these. You don't have to have these conversations when they're, when they're in the middle of getting changed and focusing on the people that are getting changed. You can cut away really smartly. You could have done it really well and just been, you know, just been better. <laughs> but yeah, like that show is really good at making you hate characters and hate certain aspects of characters. Um, so that's what I'm definitely going to continue to watch. 
Right. Well, we got those things out of the way. Um, what else have I been watching that I would recommend? Well, there's three. Well, the three top ones that I've got listed on the Crunchyroll queue is My Hero Academia, which is in its third ish season, uh, Attack on Titan, which is also in its third. Sure. It's episode 43, but uh, I don't know what sort of thing they would classify that. Yeah, third season. Wasn't wrong, but still doubted myself. Um, and then Overlord, which uh, I think Mother's Basement did a thing on Overlord, and I had it run on the background, and I think it started verging into uh, spoiler territory, and I was just like, from the way he's talking about it, from the little I've listened, I'll just go watch it. And I really enjoyed it. Um, it wasn't exactly what I thought it was going to be. Um, it's one of these uh, getting pulled into an MMO thing, but this one seemed to do it in a different way that I actually really liked. And there's a lot of TNA in that sometimes, but they're all they all seem above age. I don't, anyone that doesn't seem to be above age aren't you know thought about that way. Uh, which is much more my style if you want to put that sort of thing in. Um, so I watched all of that and now I'm f completely caught up on that. Well, they're on season three as well, episode seven, I think. Uh, ba -ba -ba That's what it's looking like, season three. Yes, season three. So that was good. Um, that's what I was watching on that. Uh, much more wholesome next. We have Cells at Work. And I... Yeah, it's alright. Um, something to... Something to... Yeah. You got 20 minutes. And you want to watch a wee bit of anime. But not be 100% invested. Just sort of... Just sort of chill to it. Excellent. Excellent for doing that. Uh, does a lot of, you know... Uh, you know what, you've probably heard plenty about cells at work, but let me just give you the overview. You're, you're inside someone's body, but all the cells and stuff are people, and they all have their particular jobs to do, and supposedly it's very deep in how much, like, extra layers that they do for, you know, like, uh, supposedly a doctor's doing a rundown of every episode or something. Yeah. Uh, I'm not getting any of that. I'm just reading what they're talking about. Seems fun. Doing the stabby stab. Uh, and yeah, it was pretty good. Um, let me see if there's anything else that I am watching at the moment. Oh, one that I, I don't know why I'm still watching it with so much TNA and made to look incredibly young is How Not to Summon a Demon Lord where I'm actively skipping minutes at a time in this with what's what's being presented on screen. I don't know why I'm still watching it. I feel like it's just because uh, I have allocated time to myself to enjoy anime and I want to watch stuff that people are talking about at the moment and people are talking about this and... Yeah, I, I, guess, I, want, I guess the only reason I'm watching this is because I want to be part of the zeitgeist. I want to hear what people are saying about it and all sort of keep and have the context for it. It's just not worth it. <laughs> I probably should just stop watching it. Um, let me see here. Anything else that's uh, worth mentioning? Oh my goodness. Couldn't even get through to the third episode of Lord of Vermilion, The Crimson King. My goodness, that was atrocious. It was a. Uh, it was it was like one of the getting pulled into a game type thing. With but you're getting pulled into an incredibly lore heavy game, uh, with all this backstory and stuff, and your you know your main pro protagonist is dropped in with basically amnesia and has no idea what's going on. All these oh, like all these horrible things are happening. They have hidden powers, and you start to you know figure out what they are. It's not it's not a drop in thing. I don't think, but regardless, I don't know. Do not care. It seems like an even worse uh, version of Caligula that was out in spring 2018, um, which I have actually yet to finish, but it, that was going fine. Um, I'm distracted with other stuff. 
but it got I got about uh, and have a look here. It looks like maybe five ten minutes. It wouldn't have been ten minutes. Maybe five about five to seven minutes into the episode. I had to run off. It was just there were so many aspects to it that I did not like. Like I can't remember anything good about the animation. I think it was kind of shoddy at times. I didn't like the characters' designs. They looked like they were just like lifted from other animes. Um, the whole concept of uh, royal bloodlines and you have stored memories and all this from it was just like you're dumping, you're jumping, you're jumping the gun with some of these things. You know, the you haven't established characters and all this sort of caper for for me to even care about any of the anguish that they're currently feeling and all this sort of. Oh, it's just, so many layers of badness. This again, this is just a general overview of just random bits and pieces. Um, next is Planet With, and I got to episode three, and there was no hook for me. The episodes I watched, I don't regret watching them, like I do with Lord of Vermilion, but there was no hook. There was no. There was no big draw for Planet With for me, and it just. It's one of those ones that it's like, maybe if I get a couple of episodes in, it might, might get better or might get more to what I like, but not at the moment. And you know what? I think for today, that'll be it. Again, just some random bits from summer 2018 TNA anime. Um, it's just, I guess what my main point is, it's a little bit disappointing when you're looking forward to shows and you're like me and you try and do as little research on them as possible to come in as fresh as possible and you're greeted with stuff that you weren't expecting again i guess you know like for example that uh, beach volleyball one uh what i receive uh ooh, i'm gonna say again i need to look at it and i'm gonna set wrong again but I need to look at it anyway uh how can i receive it just was so much TNA that was unexpected, especially with the age range, that it was very off-putting, and I don't know whether I'm going to continue watching that or not. Like again, it has redeeming factors, but it's like it doesn't does it bring it up to me wanting to like sort of endorse this product because at the moment I don't really want to. If you know what I mean? But yeah. Um, Again, off the cuff anime opinions, and this is, of course, media core opinions, and I'd like to hear your opinions as well. So, if you uh, disagree with anything, uh, give me a thumbs down, and if you agree with uh, something more, like more than half, I guess, give me a thumbs up, and then we can discuss about it in the comments below. Because again, this is just this is going to be a rambling, like in a rambling one of just random scatter shot of what I've been watching at the moment. And then hopefully I will be doing some a little bit more uh, structured ones later on. Probably uh, I'll be moving that way a bit towards the computer and having some details up properly. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. This has been Media Core Opinions and I'd love to hear your opinion as well. You can do this via the comments below or you can do this via Twitter at Moltile. Um, if you want to see anything else, the links are in the description to Twitter, Twitch, my extra YouTube channel. And yeah, I hope you're all having a great time. Be excellent to one another, and I'll see you again soon. Boop, boop, boop. Bye!